Taurus. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. And I am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of September. Oh, it's going to be a month to remember. 2020, show me the money energies. Taurus, they will not ignore us. God damn it. God damn it. They sure will not. I hope you have been behaving yourselves. Oh, have you behaved, honey? We will find out. We will find out for sure, honey. Listen, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked, liked, shared, subscribed, who has booked a reading, who has sent in some love and, um, Support through Cash App or PayPal. If y'all donated a debt through the Amazon wish list, I want to give a big shout out to every last one of you guys. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading or if these videos resonate and you want to send some love or you want to donate a debt, check out the description box and check out the um, about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the pricing list. It gives you how to contact me, how to book the reading. Um, you book readings with me through Cash App or PayPal, and we conduct the readings through um, uh, Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, the best way to contact me for your reading would be through Google Hangouts. It's a free app to download. The only thing that we need to exchange is our email address. My email address is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So again, if you want to book a reading with me and you don't have Instagram for us to do the reading through the, um, Instagram Video Messenger, just Email me again at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll help get you all set up through um, Google Hangouts and we'll be good to go. So as you guys know, Taurus, we always give the creator, Father God, praise and thanks before we do anything on my channel. So let's just bow our heads and just, you know, just say a quick prayer and just give thanks for a moment so father god thank you so much for stepping into Taurus life thank you so much for making everything right thank you so much for just helping us make it through the night sometimes because i feel like sometimes Taurus stays up a lot just thinking and just trying to let the time pass um there's a lot of things that needed to be corrected and healed in Taurus's space and in Taurus's uh, uh, place in their heart and their mind and their soul um, they just needed to like redirect and have a resurge of energy um, I think a lot of us have been a little lethargic and lazy because of we just been sitting around and you know what I'm saying it's like we just need to get our mojo back you know what I'm saying we need look we back like cook crack that's like I said you know what I'm saying so it's like we trying to get that resurgence of energy father God we are just so transparent about what we want and what we trying to create right now father God and we just need that momentum to just push us and pop up and propel us forward father God so continue to just like be that propeller in our life we we're trying to fly right now we need all of that we need all of the wind energy we need all of the essence of the universe right now to just come into our life to help us do what we need to do right now um because we're reaching out for greatness you already know we like luxury beauty and everything that is fine and refinery so father god we you know we're reaching for the best we're reaching for success and nothing less father god give us guidance for the sign of taurus because you know that they won't ignore us father god amen amen so let's get into this all right so child if people don't leave me alone while i'm trying to do my read it okay listen so this is this new deck that i have you guys it's called the uh, what do you mean deck um i use it as a general like emotional energy type of thing to kind of see what's going on so i'm gonna take one off of the top and I'm going to lay all the cards down. If you guys been watching the other videos, you see how I've been doing it. If you would like to skip ahead, please do so. Just like all the cards face down. And if one of you guys would just be so wonderful to um, put a time stamp down there. So the people that don't want to hear me right or see me. Um, oh, okay. Put these cards out. And I can just go ahead and skip ahead. All right. I just heard 
Someone can just go ahead. Someone can just go ahead. So let's see what the hell that means. And I just, when I parted the deck, I just seen the hermit card. Even know if this is a song I don't know what why they saying this in my head it's like you could go ahead I, I'd be better off dead you left me without you you could go ahead I'd be better off dead you left me without you that's that's a lot I don't know if some. Mm, let me shut up and get these cards out. Well, no. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. I'm getting like. Someone is getting like a resurgence of their life and their power back. I feel like someone is finally over possibly the waiting. You could go ahead. I'll be better off dead. You know what I'm saying? Like you left me without you. So it's like. It's like. That's saying to the person, like, you already made your decision to move on, so I need to move on, too. So, I don't know if it's something that stuck in the, in the heart space, you know what I'm saying, about a situation where someone left them and moved on, you know what I'm saying, to someone else. And it's like... I've been there. Like I've I've been through that journey. I've, I've I've been through that story before. You know what I'm saying? I've definitely been in a situation where someone left and went off without me, but I was still I was still in that love situation. My heart was still there with that person. Like it wasn't over for me. Like it was so hard for me to let go and especially like to see someone be happy with someone else and you're still Chasing a ghost because that's what you're doing. It's like you're chasing a ghost. You know what I'm saying? Like that situation is dead. It ain't there no more. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you keep feeding the memory, you know? But it's like with what was spoken to me, it seems like the Taurus. Oh, and then okay, we got pearly white. Y'all definitely look, y'all, y'all stepping out clean. You understand? Ain't nobody dope as me. I'm so fresh. I'm so clean. Look, y'all already know how Taurus do. Y'all already know Taurus don't. When it comes to the shoe game, the clothes game, just like anything like that, Taurus don't play. And then you got this as well. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here, shall we? So let's see. What do we mean, Father God? What do you mean? Oh! y'all looking at like that Taurus y'all was looking at somebody like they fucking crazy like um are you okay over there like you tripping like you crazy as fuck like it's uh, y'all looking at somebody like someone is frightening you who is what is <laughs> y'all let me see the knight of cups in the reverse so I don't know if this is someone that is like it's an unrequited love. Like you might have thought that this was something that you might like. Someone that you like. But it's like you may be reneging on like the love invitation. Like you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you may be trying to back away from someone because they may be a little off-putting or something. Um, a little too jealous or something. Because let me think. Like it's like. The Knight of Cups in the reverse is someone, is like the girl's damn sugar or something like that. You see what I'm saying? It's ever, the Knight of Cups is ever someone who 
can't control their emotions or don't know what they want emotionally it may just be emotionally all over the place do you understand what i'm saying so it's like they may not know how to give their heart or they may be giving their heart to a lot of people you know what i'm saying like this person may be open to love just anybody you know what i'm saying or it's one or the other you know what i'm saying it's like you just an emotional fucking catastrophe a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And could be someone that isn't necessarily mature, could, could act childish or something like this. What is this? This is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is like someone that moves very slow. That is, um, it may seem like they're stagnant, but they actually are moving towards something. You know what I'm saying? Like they like to study people. They like to educate their self. They need to research and make sure that they're making calculated they, they don't mind taking risks they kind of are not risk takers like they it's a calculated risk like i'm about to sit here and study this market and see how things work before me before i get myself into something because i'm not going to invest myself into something that isn't is going to turn out to nothing you know what i'm saying like i want everything that I, I want the Midas touch I got the Midas touch everything that I put my hands on turns to go however you know what I'm saying it may take me some time to decide if I want to lay my hands on it so you may be at a point right now with someone where it's like I feel like you may be a little turned off by someone's flightiness or something um you want something that's really going to last um and that's going to turn into something worthwhile and worth keeping it's like if you are over the place and and this is another thing it's like this is someone that could be emotionally jealous or, or emotionally touched because they be all over the fucking place so this could be someone that could think that you're constantly doing something. It's because they're constantly doing something. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, you're saying I'm not showing no emotions. I'm not showing no emotions because you're not showing emotions. Like, you're, you're not. You know what I'm saying? So, this could be someone who could constantly be complaining about something that they're not doing their self. And then what? You know what I'm it's, it's, it's just like, and you might be looking at them like, What? the fuck are you talking about like what are you talking about like I didn't call you yesterday you didn't call me like you're not showing like that you're really interested in me like that you know what I'm saying like you be talking to other people so like what the fuck do you mean you know what I'm saying it's like I feel like it's like a, it's a confusion confusing emotional roller coaster or something like that and it's like you're trying to figure out if you want to invest your time, if you want to get coiled up in it. Because right now, it just seems like a little unnerving or whatever. This is fear. You got the fear card. You know what I'm saying? So, it's something where I feel like you're rejecting at the moment because it is a sense of fear. You feel like there's too much secrets there's too much darkness there's too much shit that you don't see it's too much shit that you don't understand like i said it's like you you have to spend a little bit more time to decide if you're going to do this like you just like right now i feel like you are not emotionally sure about something let's figure out what's going on beneath this knight of cups the Knight of Cups is the King of Wands in the reverse. So this could be someone that has fear of commitment because like they're not done sowing their royal oats. They may be older, but they just still may be a whore. You know what I'm saying? Like they just, it's like they trying to figure out if they got their mojo back or something. Like they could have been in a relationship for a long time and even in the relationships i mean i don't i'm not seeing any commitment here you know what i'm saying and it's like and this fear card was in the reverse so it's like maybe they can't get over their fear of commitment or something like that i don't know um it's like something that is deep inside of them that you see it's like what <laughs> It's, it's, it's like uh, something in the shadow of this person that they need to let that cage bird free and they need to figure out like what it what is it about them that they can't commit that they have this wandering eye that they 
take so long to decide if they want to give to something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a fear, you know? Um, it's like, I feel like this person feels safer in not feeling like they have, not feeling like they have the obligation of expressing their emotions, not having to share their emotions, or, um, having many places that they can get emotion, emotional, uh, what am I trying to say? It's like, this person has to have multiple different people to make them feel um, emotionally sound. Like, this could be someone that could have some type of insecurities about something. You know what I'm saying? Like, the King of Wands in the reverse, like, uh, it's like, their dick stands up for them. Does that make any sense? It's like, they get their confidence off of their sexual prowess and how many women that they can make, like, chase after them or something like that. It's like, I could have, I, I could have anything, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I, let me just, what is this? This is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So, I feel like you're not attracting the right type of woman. Because you got to think about it. This is the earth sign, right? Taurus is the earth sign. What's the most important things to Taurus? Their foundation, beauty, family, luxury, wealth. Right? So, I feel like... I don't, I don't know if this person is not in the right place to attract the right type of women. I don't know if the right type of women might be, if the women that they're attracting are going through the same cycles that they're going through. You know what I'm saying? Like a cycle where they fear, fear commitment because typically the queen of pinnacles is a married woman. She's a committed woman. Um, however, in the reverse, she could be a woman that doesn't commit to anything. She could be a wanderer. You know, she could... Um, lack stability, um, could be money hungry, um, you know, uh, may not look after her kids like that, or, you know what I'm saying? And just everything that a earth sign really isn't, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a queen of pentacles is a good mother. She takes care of her family. She takes care of her, 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 her animals, she takes care of her garden, she takes care of the universe, she is just nurturing, she's loving, she's a good cook, she takes care of her, I mean, she, you know what I'm saying, she's an in-home type of individual, like, in the reverse, this could be someone that's always out, always out doing something, always spending money, always has no sense of self, has no sense of worth or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if, like, that's the reason why the Taurus is looking at this woman like that. It's like she spends money too frivolously. Um, maybe she has a lack of sense of uh, of worth. Uh, only thing she worries about is money or possessions or something like that. And it could be unattractive. That may be why this person wants to renege and doesn't want to offer love to this person anymore. Because it's like, I just, uh, what in the hell? Oh my goodness, y'all. Anyway, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um. Let's keep going. It's like, if this is a man, if this is a male Taurus, um, with this Knight of Cups energy right here, um, I could feel, I feel like this is a male Taurus that's saying, like, I need a woman that compliments me and my energy. It's like, whoever this woman is, like, it could be a fear of offering to this relationship because he feels like this woman doesn't compliment, um, his energy and he needs someone that's going to be a good mother um, to the kids. But at the same time, the male energy here ain't shit as well. So it's like, I don't know. Like the male energy here ain't shit. Like ain't shit at all to be 
even like I'm sorry anyway let's keep it moving you got the family room so again it's like this is a man that lacks commitment in his family like this this is a man that is a he's a wanderer like he could have a family and he's absent from he could be like ostracized from his family because he's a wanderer he's a knight of cups in the reverse he's the king of wands in the reverse like this is a cheater this is a emotional manipulator this is someone that just runs around and places their dick all over the world and maybe missing from home a lot do you understand what i'm saying like this is someone who has a family you know what i'm saying a family that they should be giving to you know what i'm saying but instead this man is giving dick to other people you know what i'm saying like Come on, like this the, the Knight of Cups in the reverse is someone the Knight of Cups in the reverse will pay attention to anyone that'll pay attention to it. You see what I'm saying? If anyone comes around and strokes this person's ego, he's going to entertain it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like he may not be too concerned about only thing this man may be concerned about is his multiple suitors and trying to get his money together you know what i'm saying bottom line it looks like this person has a family that he's being patient but it definitely looks like his energy could be what might have fucked up this family room but it seems like he's being patient he's being patient and i don't know if this is the woman that belongs in this family with this man that he's being patient trying to get back in his family room she could be looking at him like uh-uh like she fears this because i think around this energy it knocks her off where he ain't shit and she ain't shit with him you know what i'm saying because it's like you're never home you're always somewhere else you're always entertaining other people like i'm being left with this family by myself and you know it could have put her in fear you know and she could have got trapped up in someone's negative cycle it's just has patience everything will soon come to light and you will see things will be all right pass the card on everything will come to light I feel like you're walking down a very long hallway and you see at the end here you see where all that green ridges greener ridge i don't even know if that's a goddamn word greenery um i feel like you're getting to the end of the tunnel and just be patient like something is something everything will soon come to light and you will see things will be all right so we'll see we'll see let's see what's on the side of this queen of pentacles in the reverse a mature woman in the reverse so again like this if this is a man that's dealing with this woman he feels like this woman is a mature she doesn't have her head on straight she may have a foundational lacking stability like you know what i'm saying like she's not stable she probably doesn't pay attention to her kids like her house could be a wreck like she's not a good cook she's not like Okay, I'll be I'll be finishing in a second. Like she's not someone that he feels is mature that he he would feel that would be safe around his kids or that he would like around his kids. Like he needs a mature woman. He feels like this woman isn't mature. You understand? And or this is a woman that feels like with a man in his energy, she can't be a mature. Why how why the fuck would I be a mature woman in this? You see, you see her face like why in the fuck would I be faithful and be a mature? You want me to sit at home and be a nice doting wife while he running around out here giving his dick to everybody in the streets? Bitch, the fuck I look like the fuck do i look like bitch fuck out my face with that dumb ass shit you know what i'm saying it's like what is there to be mature about why i need to be home i need to be doing the same motherfucker thing that motherfucker's doing because they ain't going to be putting their dick in me you see what i'm saying so like this person could have very much so like fallen into the same energy of this person that's around them like i don't know like this is just crazy what is and then you got the king of fucking cups in the reverse 
you got the king of cups in the reverse so again you got the knight of cups in the reverse the king of cups in the reverse the king of wands in the reverse like this is someone that is just a fucking playboy this person is a whore this person is just like everywhere but being in this family room period this man could like possibly not seek out mature people you know what i'm saying like you know he may be just focused on his money and like it may seem like he's giving something but it seems like the night night of night of pentacles is the slowest move a night in the dead you know what i'm saying like this person can have fear commitment just i feel like this person has fear commitment and doesn't have any sense of value in the type of women that they're attracting for some fucking reason like this shit is fucking crazy what is this this is the eight of the eight of swords so this is like in the knight of swords so y'all like i don't know like okay i'm getting like there was some type of injustice done uh, where I felt like this. I'm getting like the law. Like I'm getting the law. Like I don't know if someone's about to be in prison. Um, the Knight of Swords is like when it's like some swift, fast justice or some swift news. Something coming very quickly and very direct, very bluntly. You know what I'm saying? And the Eight of Swords is incarceration. It's something where someone is bound. Somebody is trapped. Someone can't get out of something. Um, someone mentally can't figure something out for the life of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see how long his hair has grown. Like, you know, so I don't know if this is someone that has been incarcerated before and maybe possibly going back to jail. It looks like it. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know if this person is just hoeing around right now, just trying to like fuck everything moving because they know they about to go back to jail or something and if the law is coming to get them or like the truth is coming out or you know what I'm saying like this is like um arguments you know what I'm saying like where it's like some type of combativeness like you know what I'm saying like it's just like very direct very direct to the point, this is how I feel. This is what it is. Woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel someone could possibly want out of a situation where it's like they feel like they're constantly being onslaughted with information or being approached. With questionings or people being direct, it's this like, what's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck did I get trapped here? You know what I'm saying? The Knight of Cups in the reverse is like, I don't think that I want to express myself this way. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person may be slowly moving towards something more successful, but I just, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. what is this the two of swords so this is someone that has a choice like they can have two options so this could be someone that's talking to two different people and it's like um so this is this is a situation where i feel like someone realized that they don't like someone that they did the way that they thought that they would like there could be someone else that may suit their interests a little bit better that may be hidden like they may be masked right now you maybe can't see it you know um and this person is trying to make a decision this person may be trapped trying to figure their way out of you know what i'm saying as you can see like they've broken swords trying to figure out how to um I don't know is it, is it is it like being direct and like break off communication because it's like that's how many swords is that right there how many sword handles is that that's four sword handles right there so it's like the four swords is 
when someone is going within their self and trying to figure something out, you know, going through like a soul's journey or something like that. I feel like this person has torn their self apart trying to figure their own self out on their own. And it's, I feel like they feel trapped within their own. I don't know why I feel like someone doesn't really know who they are. And it's like. They've been stressing themselves out, trying to figure out who they are, what they want to do, who they are in life. I feel like sex and these multiple partners make them feel like something. Like, there's like this ego thing that's going on here. Like, this person does have a family, but I feel like he can't be mature enough for this woman and this woman can't be mature for him. I feel like that's why this person is like... You know, I feel like this person may have problems with the law a lot. Um, like there may be a lot of imprisonment and things like that. But there's something that this person wants to see their way out of like right now. You know what I'm saying? Like right now. It is definitely a love situation that they're not interested in um, because they feel like someone just isn't best suited for them. And they have other options here. What is this? The lovers in the reverse. Yeah, like this person has multiple lovers. Like this person has more than one person that they're talking to. Way more than one person. They have fear of commitment. And I just, I don't even feel like they're even looking to date or to be with a mature woman right now. I just feel like they're just looking to fuck and just duck right now. You know what I'm saying? They're being patient to go back home here to this family. But this motherfucker ain't shit though. Like this person ain't shit. What is this? A moments of joy. It says. Sand through the hourglass. Yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever. In the bliss of the heart's will. So a moment's joy. It's like only a moment's joy with this person like I really do I, I want to say this person is scared of capture this person is scared of to be captured you know um I want to say this person could be like very very verbally direct um where it could possibly be hurtful you know what I'm saying it's like they bluntly tell you the truth where it could be hurtful. It's like there's no love here. Like this person may be just focused on their self and their money or something like that. Um, what is this? Unexpected income. So uh, it's this is like where you're unexpectedly having to shell out money that you you wasn't expecting to have to pay for. So it's like you may be paying for something that you didn't want to. Or you you know what I'm saying? It's like you may you may feel like, am I paying for the sins of other people or something? Like why am I having to do this? Or why am I having to give in this? You know what I'm saying? It's like... This person is unsure of the investment. It's like, I don't know if I want to give you my money. I don't know if I want to, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this could be something where it's like a person is a cheapskate. Like, maybe, you know, reluctant to give. Like, really, really standing over something for a very, very long time before they decide if they want to buy it. Because it's like so much other shit. I Like, I don't know if I want to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? What is this? The Nine of Wands in the reverse. So the Nine of Wands in the reverse is like backing down, like accepting your defeat. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been overpowered. Um, you've been outnumbered. You're tired of trying to fight and compete or you know what I'm saying? It's like it's, it's a battle that's not even worth continuing to go up an uphill battle about you know what I'm saying or you may be defenseless or something like that so it's like you might not be protecting yourself or be protecting your money here with this so like this could be a situation where the man could feel like you could be someone who may overspend or 
may not it's ever you overspending or you overgiving or you know what I'm saying it's like you're not protecting your finances you see what I'm saying you're not protecting your finances so it's like um she might not have a lot of money or might not have a lot of resources or like I said this could be a money hungry woman you you see what I'm saying this could be a money hungry woman and she's all about money and expecting someone to give you understand what I'm saying so it's like she could be expecting something from this man but he doesn't plan on giving her anything do you understand what I'm saying he doesn't plan on giving her anything and he thinks that she's defenseless like you know what I'm saying like Oh, and no, what this is saying, no protection, like y'all could be like, have an unprotected sex because it's like, this is like not protecting yourself. You know what I'm saying? So like y'all could be having unprotected sex or something like that. Y'all could be having unprotected sex and young, oh my gosh. This ain't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. A moment of joy with a lover, someone that you couldn't make a decision with because you had fear. Like, especially if y'all have an unprotected sex and things like that. I feel like, number one, whoever this woman is, this man doesn't look at you like they're someone that they want to be with. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, this man or this woman is like... I feel like it's going to be a, a unexpected. It's going to be an unexpected money pitfall. You understand what I'm saying? It's like this person ever doesn't have anything to give to you, and you're not protecting yourself from someone that doesn't have anything to give to you. You understand? And you may be in a situation where you 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 don't have enough to take care of your family or something. It's like you weren't being mature, and you were dealing with someone that wasn't commitment ready you know what i'm saying and i'm i'm really getting something about unprotected sex here and like an unexpected mother or something like the unexpected income like in a reverse it's like it ain't coming in it's going out you understand because you, you weren't protecting yourself it was a moment to joy with a lover mm-mm-mm Y'all, this is this has been a lot. But only thing I'm gonna say is this motherfucker ain't shit. And I feel like both of you guys are looking at each other crazy. That's all I'm gonna say. But Taurus, this has been y'all's reading. Lord y'all, y'all got a doozy today, y'all. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe button, y'all. I cannot. I'm out. Peace. I'm done.